Hi, what is the value of k given that you have k to the power of 6 equals open parenthesis k minus 2 in parenthesis to the power of 6? Let's have it to be solution. So from here, we have k to the power of 6 minus, let's take this one here. We have k minus 2 in parenthesis to the power of 6. But mind you that we can have 6 to be equals 2 times 3. So here we have k to the power of 2 times 3 minus k minus 2 and parenthesis to the power of 2 times 3. Also recall that when we have a to the power of m times n equals a to the power of m and parenthesis to the power of n. So let's apply it here. We can have here to be k to the power of 3 in parenthesis to the power of 2 minus this k minus 2 in parenthesis to the power of 3 again to the power of 2. Then let's set them to be equal 0. Sorry. So <clears throat> from here, this one has power 2. This one has power 2. Recall that when we have a square minus b square equals as a plus b in bracket again multiplied by a minus b in bracket. So applying it here, we are going to have k to the power of 3 plus this will be open parenthesis k minus 2 in parenthesis to the power of 3 as the first one, then multiply by k to the power of 3 minus open parenthesis k minus 2 in parenthesis to the power of 3, everything then equals 0. Now, for this expression to be equal 0, is either we have k to the power of 3 plus k minus 2 in parenthesis as this to the power of 3 equals 0, or we have this k to the power of 3 minus open parenthesis k minus 2 in parenthesis to the power of 3 equals 0 for this expression to be equal 0. Then let's pick them one after the other. Let's say we have case 1. When we have case 1, we have this equal that when we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 always equals as a plus b in parenthesis again multiplied by a square minus ab plus b square. So where our a will be equals k, then our b will be equals k minus 2. So from here we have, apply this one will be k plus b is k minus 2. In parentheses, then multiply by this again, k square. Our a is k. Then our b is k minus 2. Then plus b square will be k minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2. We close it, then we set everything to be equal to 0. So from here, we are going to have this to be k. K plus K will give us 2K minus 2 in parentheses. Then multiply by this will be K square. This time this will give us minus K square plus 2K. Minus times minus will be plus 2 times K will give us 2K. Open this one, we are going to have it to be K square. Then minus 4K. Then plus 4 equals 0. Now, let's factor 2 from here out. Here will be 2. Then here will be k minus 1. Multiply by this. We cancel this. We are going to left with k square. Then plus 2k minus 4k will give us minus 2k. Then plus 4 left. Everything equals 0. Likewise happen to this. For this expression to be equal 0, let's divide through by 2 first. So here we cancel this. We have k minus 1, then multiply by k square minus 2k plus 4 equals 0. So for this expression again to be equal to 0, we see that we have k minus 1 equals 0, or we have k square minus 2k plus 4 equals 0. Then from here, we have k to be equals 1. This will be our real solution. From here, you can get k by applying the quadratic formula 
k equals minus b positive or negative then root of b square minus 4ac then all divided by 2a where we are going to have the parameter a to be the coefficient of k square 1 then parameter b to be the coefficient of k which is minus 2 why the parameter c will be equals constant of quadratic 4 so when we plug in everything we are going to have k b then 4 is 2 minus 2 here will be minus outside minus 2 positive or negative then square root of minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 minus 4 a is 1 c is 4 then all divided by 2 times 1 so from here we have k minus times minus will be 2 positive or negative this square will give us 4 4 times 1 is 4 here is 4 here will be 16 divided by 2 so we have k to be equals 2 positive or negative root of 4 minus 16 will give us minus 12 divided by 2 but recall that when we have root of minus a equals root a multiplied by root of minus 1 so here will be k equals 2 positive or negative root of 12 multiplied by root of minus 1 divided by 2 but we call that we can also have 12 to be equals 4 times 3 now k will be equals 2 positive or negative this will be root of 4 times 3 root multiply by root of minus 1 all divided by 2 so we have here to be k equals 2 positive or negative root 4 will give us 2 multiply by root 3 root of minus 1 equals i in a complex space so here will give us i divided by 2 so we have k let's divide this by this we have 2 divided by 2 positive or negative 2 multiplied by root 3i divided by 2 so we are going to have k this divided by this will give us 1 plus this we cancel this it give us root 3i mind you that we also have k to be equals 1 so this is the first solution from case 1 then let's check for the case 2 case 2 we have k to the power of 3 minus k minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 3 equals 0 recall that when we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 equals a minus b in parentheses multiplied by a square plus a b plus b square as this so applying it here we are going to have k minus this again k minus 2 in parentheses as this then here will be k square plus we have k multiplied by k minus 2 plus k minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 then equals 0 so here will be this we open this we have k minus k there plus 2 as this here will be k square open this one with this we have k square then minus 2k expansion of this one will give us k square minus 4k plus 4 equals 0 so this we take away this we are going to have 2 left from here k square plus k square 2k square plus this we have 3k square minus 2k minus 4k will give us minus 6k then here will be plus 4 then equals 0 so from here when we divide 2 by 2 this we cancel this so we are going to have 3k square minus 6k plus 4 equals 0 
the code that we can get k to be equals minus b positive or negative square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So from here we are going to apply k to be equals. Now, our b is minus 6, so here will be plus 6. Positive or negative? This square will give us 36 minus 4 times a is 3, 12 times this will give us 48. Then divide by 2 times 1. We have k to be 6 positive or negative. 36 minus 48 will give us minus 12. Divide by 2. We have k to be equal to 6 positive or negative root of 12 multiplied by root of minus 1. I'll divide by 2. We have k to be equal to 6 positive or negative root of 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by root of minus 1 divided by 12. So we have k to be equal to 6 positive or negative root 4 give us 2 root 3 i divided by 2. So we have k 6 divided by 2 positive or negative 2 multiplied by root 3i divided by 2. So we have k 6 divided by 2 will give us 3 positive or negative this we cancel this we have root 3i. So finally we also have k to be equals 1 positive or negative root 3i we also have k to be equals 1. These are the solution for the value of k. So if you are new here and find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more mass tutorial videos. Bye-bye.